if it's a new character, Neil gets it first. Before we get, before the Americans get it. Any new character, they get it before the, uh, I say we, we're not, Africans are not really, eh, we're not really, when it comes to the gaming, apart from COD, we're not really, they don't work. Nigeria's like FPS games. Yes, really, really. FPS game. Anything, sh- anything first person shooter, anything Call of Duty, anything um, Apex Legends, anything. We live out the American dream. Yeah, we're going to shoot anybody on site. <laughs> right. Hello everyone, you are welcome to a brand new episode of the Big Face Show. Let's go, let's go. So uh, I brought uh, an esteemed guest. Esteemed is the right word. Esteemed guest from the previous season. Yeah. Um, But luckily for me and luckily for you guys this time, we are taking it low. So instead of the serious conversation we had last time, about death, about the meaning of life, about consciousness, about all these philosophical jargons. We are taking it low. You know, funny thing, funny thing, after I shared that podcast to all my contact list and people that knew me, they were like, Gambit, I knew you were this deep. Yeah. Like, what did you take me for? You think I was one shallow pool of, you know? It was, I, I mean, I'm, I'm as deep as the Mariana Trench, man. What the fuck? So much wisdom. I think the, the benefit that this platform accrues to me too is that people are able to see that I actually have opinion, however, <laughs> however surface level or however wrong they might be on anything. So I think I, I understand your, your contact list very yeah. clearly. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that they, they are aware that you actually have this level of philosophical understanding. But now there's a new respect for me on the street. Hey, my street that's respect what's up. Thanks to the big facial. That's what's up. So if you want to be a guest, drop your comments um, on every episode that you watch or listen to. Uh, just just interact basically. And if you are close by, I can bring you up. So enough um, enough of this self. What's the word I'm looking for? What is the word you're looking for? Self dick sucking. <laughs> <laughs> enough of this. Um, you know, funny thing, I actually saw that. You only have a funny thing to say. No, no, this is the second time you've had two funny things to say. Yeah, but... No, like, no. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a video on how that is actually possible. I never knew that it is actually possible to suck your own dick. Really? Yeah. Like, I, you never tried it. it. Why would I? I swear to God, there's, there's no way you ever tried it. Why would I? There are, there are three kinds of men. I think I told you there are this before. There are three kinds of men. Men that have, at one point, Try to suck their own pee pee. Men that succeeded <laughs> and men that lie. Okay. There are three types of men. I have never, I have never. That means you fall in lying category. I'm not lying. As you see, you could take, you could take a lie detector test right now. And, um, I show you, I have nothing, nothing has I don't know. allowed me to the fact that you would try to suck. Why? Curiosity. That is, that is not curiosity. That is curiosity. That's not curiosity. Most men, trust me, most. This is not what the podcast is supposed to be. About. But this is not. This is, this is taking a very wrong direction. What the fuck? But anyway, when I tried it, I think as a teenager, it, 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 I could not. I was not flexible. With it. I mean, I'm not. But if I try now, <laughs> you, I'm not. And you know what? I'm, when mm. when I leave this, when I leave this space, I'm going to forget this conversation ever. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, good luck trying to do that to my audience because unless I show up to their uh, to their houses with these um men in black flash and be like forget everything you just said. But other, other than that, I mean, I mean to be fair, we did say we're not going to have it like you know, it's such a serious just life at that type, you know. So, I mean, you see me here, I I, I show up with the kind of desperados, you know that. She's about to get lit. It's a, it's a soft call moment. I'm not an alcoholic, folks. This just helped me with the boss line. Be a alcoholic. You're not an alcoholic, just like helping local businesses. You, I, I, this guy gets it. I'm helping local businesses. Yes. This is not sponsored by you. I just prefer this brothers to any other thing out there. Okay. Um, can you sing the new national anthem? Go for beat. Go for beat. I'm not even going to try to learn it. Okay. You know, wow. So so patriotic. <laughs> so so patriotic already. Okay. I mean, NYS is coming soon. Yeah. And apparently word on the street is we'll probably have to learn the new um anthem and stuff. I, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not going to, I'm probably gonna mouth off. You know how we do in primary school. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, but, but it's just a bit more difficult from you know saying something like, if a teacher asks you, does it increase or decrease? I say, mm-hmm. <laughs> is this not going to be increase or increase? She <laughs> have to, have to say the words out, man. So you might be really fucked if you don't want to have to learn it, but you have to learn it because you know it's a requirement. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. This is this is me rebelling against. What do you find funny about the entire situation in the first place? You know the fact that everything is literally wrong with the country. Everything. But what is that to change is the national anthem. You just wake up one day. Cause unless you feel there's some level of colonialism or some imperialism going on and you want to revive people's national um I want to raise people up nationally by changing the they, song. Uh, they should be like a Like fun- it's literally Nigeria, Nigeria's theme song. Exactly. Like see, they should be like a fun fact counter, yeah? yeah. Somewhere around this because for this video, you have so many fun facts for you. Yeah. Fun facts, the bill that was passed yeah. for the um, anthem change was yeah. actually the fastest bill ever to be passed in the world. From the drafting to the passing fastest bill. I think Damn. it took a couple of weeks, like two weeks or so. The fastest ever. You should know that it was determined to see that thing through to the end. Why? I do not know. Yeah, I, I did see, um, I, I'm not sure which new agency, Quoted Tinubu saying that he, he said he said that was his top priority. Changing national for some reasons that was his top priority. Is this beef with Obasanjo? I'm not sure what it's. I'm, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be some kind of subliminal message to someone to something. I am not sure, but Iman did change the national anthem. We didn't put him in power, so he doesn't answer to us. Is whoever puts him in power will answer to? That's well, what I can say. Well, you know, that is debatable because you know. Again, this, this is a democratic setting, quote unquote, <laughs> quote unquote, democratic setting. Leaders by, by a horse and for horse, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, for the people, by the people, right, the people. Yeah, yeah. right. As they say, yeah, as they say. So, um, that is quite the opening to what we are going to talk about. <laughs> you know, to be honest, really, it's like really, really some kind of segue. I can't believe I talked about sucking dick for like <laughs> the first five. <laughs> Bring up the sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> the first five, the first three minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. Now it's going to be on my mind for the rest of this podcast. That is, what do you, what do you mean? It's, like, it's just going to be there. It's just, I'm just going to think about how you would position yourself. You don't have to, you don't have to so, think about me specifically. You're, you're the one that said you, you suck dick. I'm not going to imagine myself. It, 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 it's, it's even weirder that you think about me doing that shit to myself. What is wrong with you? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome oh to my God. another episode of The You made it worse. <laughs> you made it worse. Look at that. <laughs> I was absolutely ready to close off that entire thing there and just get okay. into the game okay. proper. Yeah, this is this is gearing up to be one of the most that, chaotic episodes. It's getting too weird. All right. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So <clears throat> GTA six next day. <laughs> ah, finally. While we are alive. I, I never Ooh. thought that my Bro, I thought I would my grandchildren would be the one exactly. to talk. Exactly. I never thought that. I was probably gonna write it in my will. You know, play GTA six. You know, at the point it it became this meme. Um we got Ismail and Gambit talking about so penis it, before GTA six. <laughs> you know, it was it it became an entire everyone was tired since 2013 2013 the last gta game See, 2013 i have played replayed modded mod remodded watch people mod watch gameplays what have i not done watch it's, online communities watch online communities watch youtubers rise with gt5 and fall yeah there was this guy um quebel cup or something on, on youtube yes yes yeah yeah i, I enjoy it i you know while it button. lasted yeah, and this guy too, um, Modest Pelican. Also, you know, um, you know when when they do that stuff with videos where you know for ADHD people where they like for attention span where they expect <laughs> the video put the real video on top and, and then there's GT or Minecraft or something. Yeah, it's always GT. All the videos I end up watching, it's always GT. So it's that's always that. Most of the ones I see is Subway so far or I see GT Minecraft sale of GT. But bro, after over a decade, we are finally getting GTA 5, yes. GTA 6. To be honest, next I'm, year. I'm excited as fuck. Um, 2016. I'm excited as fuck. What was the reaction? Oh, when I, when I watched the... Uh, to the trailer. About time. That's, 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 that was my initial reaction. Like, just about bloody time. 
we got this. And it's, uh, I think it's two characters, male and female. Yeah, yeah. So, which is like the like continuation of uh, the kind of dynamics that we have for GTA 5, where we like, we'll switch. And the, set, the setting is up in um, Vice City. I hear it's also going to be a one to one, the skill. What do you mean? Like the skill of the uh, game. Yeah. I think it's based around Florida. So it's going to be like a one. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, it's going to be a one to one skill. Like, um, like the, real life. Yeah, the proportions of uh, Miami is going to be, is, is like going to be like that, but just gamified. That is that is going to be that's that's massive. That's a revolution. I'm not saying revolutionarism, but with everything that we're expecting from um, Rockstar, there are probably oh. going to be new PC builds just for GT6. Do you know how much has gone into the um, game? I think seven million dollars. No, 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 not seven million dollars. It does more than that. I mean, millions of dollars are, are, are going, has gone into this. Um, yeah, game like, again, it's, I know games take games take a shit lot of time. Yeah, obviously, but like since twenty thirteen, like obviously you have to have like that amount of money put. You can't have like yeah. Do you know how much GTA GTA five made? I mean, up there in, in billions. Did you find? Um, yeah, I think seven billion dollars. Was is that like from twenty thirteen to now, or just? Yeah, all all the money. Uh, I think not counting the money it made um in opening. Yeah, but till now that's how much money it has made in GTA Five. That is that is at least top three mo- top four movies put together, including um Titanic, Avengers Endgame, and f- the the highest selling piece of single entertainment. And. Believe it or not, whatever price tag they put on that GTA 6, they will be there. Who will be there? I ah, will be there. People will be there. I had $150. $150? Yeah. For I mean, bread. that is lower than the Assassin's Creed Shadows game coming out. Oh. That's like 170 I think. Really? Assassin's Creed? Yes. No, 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 no. There are three, <laughs> <laughs> there are three tiers of okay. the Assassin's Creed game. Okay. There's the basic, then there's the platinum, and then there's the deluxe. Okay. That's what Ubisoft is doing. So you get basic missions. For um, I think the sixty base, yeah. and then you get a hundred, uh, a one twenty. Sorry for the platinum, and then for the deluxe you get like one seventy. So <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Fuck you, yourself, man. <laughs> Bro, don't do this shit. Ah. Fuck you, yourself. Bro, it used to be yeah. Don't worry, because you get to give the better part that. Let's get back to GTA Six. What are you? What What are you expecting here? What 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 things do you, Do you Want to have um happen or exist in GTA Six? It has strip clubs. It has strip clubs. It has strip. That's real. I mean, it's the staple of every Vice City game. The strip clubs now, yeah. from uh, from every GTA game. Yeah. Sorry, the strip clubs from GTA Vice City, GTA Five. GTA, I'm looking forward to GTA Six. You know, in the trailer they have people twerking on top, mm-hmm. like cars around. Uh, that is that realistic, realistic, yeah, like, real, like the Unreal Engine, <laughs> like only like seven. I will, I will <laughs> buy an external Nvidia drive. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking damn bad do you have to be? I will, I will buy that Jigu physics. Just for that Jigu physics. It has to be. I will change my monitor to 4K to get that quality. I need that realism. You know, I was expecting gameplays, you know, some maybe stories. Because GT Rockstar stories are usually very mad. Yes. 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 I, I think um the only game that actually kind of made me shed a tear was um Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't want to break. I don't want to spoil this shit for anyone. But um, if you get don't get to attach <laughs> to any character in the game, because they they'll be like Gigi killing off characters in JJK. Yes, we shouldn't have allowed Gigi cook again. Gigi shouldn't cook. Gigi is just killing off. Gigi should not cook. Gigi just not killing cook. off a character. I, I'm I'm pretty sure it would kill off um. Probably the. Uh, it had to be very soon. See, I'm I'm reading the manga. Yeah, I don't spoil it for people that are watching this. Can you budget? Okay, let's get back to GTA. Yeah. So, besides the Jigu physics, what, as far as gameplay goes, what what are you expecting? Okay, I'm looking for. Um, I mean, we had a level of we had a certain level of freedom with GTA Five when it comes yeah. to open world, performing the most heinous crimes possible. We could, you know, we had that freedom. I'm looking for more in depth, like where where maybe I get. Maybe I get the cops called on me for stalking somebody. Mm. Shit like that. Like my, I am thinking big things. Like yeah, since twenty thirteen, you have like some some level of realism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
with the with what the trailer and you know the community notes and Twitter, what have been going on around? Like it sounds like there are big things coming for GTA Six, and my mind is, I mean, normally you're supposed to like not um, put your expectations in a very reasonable level, but me, my expectation is still, bro. I think <clears throat> there was a time that I I was like you, stupid and you <laughs> will let me cook. <laughs> I was like you. <laughs> Stupid and unaware of what could go wrong. Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Trailer came out in 2012 or something. And my expectation was like this. Everybody was gassed. I, they brought up Keanu Reeves. I was like, let's, let's, let's fucking go. You can never get any better than let's this. Go. You are breathtaking. I was like, oh, bro, that, bro, that put, that put some G's in my pants. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was, when I saw the, was it E3? Um, the the showcase of the yeah, gameplay. Yeah. I was God. I was so happy, and then I saw the release. <laughs> I mean, they kept pushing the game. The release they kept pushing. I was like, okay, if they finish the game, they release it. The game was unplayable. They want to So since then, my expectations for, expectation for gaming studios. But then again, Rockstars, you know, get enemies. You know. Yeah. Rockstar again. Yeah. They have no enemies. They're like this guy from um Final Saga. Exactly. That what keeps me going. Um, yeah, I have no this was was this uh, put that Tough in yeah. They have no enemies, so I'll be there for game love. Um, but I must say game love, Rockstar. But my extension for eh. you mentioned that talking thing, like something like yeah, like you follow someone. What, what you should show sure about? Just the the I call the cops or the comments, the stuff like that. As it see, I play a lot of Skyrim. Yeah, I still play it till now. You are because well. <laughs> because I'm I'm able to mod that game. Just... <laughs> you are too far. I'm able to mod that game to eternity, yeah. and I'm able to put shit like that into the game. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't sleep that often in real life, but I get, I make sure I get eight hours sleep in Skyrim. Yes, one thing I want to ask you now: Don't you think that games can go too far if you, if they happen to break that line between what is a game and real life, or you, you know, the art naturally uh, imitates life, yeah, right? And game is a form of art in itself. Yeah. So don't you think that it can go too far when it crosses that bridge of this thing is literally too close to one more? This is no, no. It's GTA. It can't, it can't ever go too far. I mean, you can pull up a bazooka in the middle of the street and go, go to town. I, I think that breaks immersion as much as you would. Yeah, definitely. So definitely. Yeah. I mean, I saw this video of this. Uh, people who have played the overplayed GTA Five to the extent that they now follow traffic rules. <laughs> you see the shit like that. So you know it. You can you can come out of your car, pull up a bazooka, shoot. I follow someone on. You can do all that. I, I did that already. Them shot. Sure. I there was this random guy who was just antagonizing him. How to antagonize? How to antagonize? Then I, I legit followed him until they ran away and I, and I chased him and you know the cops pulled up on me. So you know uh, I feel, I feel like we can't ever we can't ever say that games will cross that line and become like hyper realistic. Really, you don't think so? Yeah. Have you not watched this this movie, Ready Player One? Ready Player One. Even Ready Player One, it was more of a case of people using games to escape real life rather than looking for real life in it. Mm. I mean, if I could end when there's a bridge, game, the, 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 when there's a bridge there, you know, yeah, exactly. consequences so, in the game affect real life. You when you die, your money goes to the person that kills you, or you lose a shit ton of your stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. But then again, you die, and you still respawn. That's enough. If it's, if it's not like like sword out online where you die in the game, you die in real life. I don't think games can. Oh man, we have nothing to worry about. Okay. So um, there's this um article I read on I read on the NPC police. I think they are smarter now. The police, uh, yeah. the police. So f- when you go to rob in GTA Six, they don't just show up guns blazing. They they show up calculated moves. And I think Rockstar always pushes the boundaries as far as NPC interactions go. You're really you're really riding their dick right now. Bro, I'm blazing Rockstar any day. I'm I'm glazer rock stars in it. They're not my favorite game studios. I think my favorite game studio is a Telltale Games. Telltale. Yeah. Uh, but that's the I'm just just putting out there. Do you know any Telltale game? Um, I think I The Walking Dead 2. The Walking Dead series. That I saw man, Wolf Among Us. I saw that Walking Dead yeah. game that they released. Was it last year? That was horrible. Is it last year? Last yeah. Telltale game. Yes, yeah, the I'm not sure. Yeah, it's Walking Dead. Telltale. Yes. It was a very horrible game. The first game I played was on PS Vita and it was good. Yeah, no, this one was for PS4, PS5. 
Oh, I've not been following up with the agony. Oh, they just they just made my childhood and you know just stop. try and check out the latest release. I will not be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make my delusion. I will not be. I will not be doing it's that. Horrible as fuck. Um, I think yeah. all the game developers were smoking. Either they were smoking crack or they were just rebelling. Oh, we get there. Yeah. There's a reason I want to talk about game developers. Oh, along this conversation. Okay, because okay. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there for you. Game love. I'll be there for you. You be soft. Yeah. So um. Let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about uh, the GTA 6. Do you think it will be vastly available to most people? You know, one thing that GTA 5 did right, I think it came out around the same time as PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, do you think people are going to rush to buy PS5 or they have to wait until the price is down? What do you think is going to happen with the release? I don't, I've not seen any news about GTA 6 being like um, cross, like um, cross platform, cross platform. Yeah, I've not seen any. So I think it's gonna be a PS5 exclusive for a while. Like just like this is just my speculation. Just mm-hmm. like Wake Ghost of Tsushima was, where you know it was PS and uh, PlayStation uh, for a while. A console. Yeah, like to just consoles before we PC people go any or go even a glimpse of you know. Getting Ghost yeah, but from from what I heard, it's actually good. Yeah, it is good. It's I mean, Ghost of Tsushima on PC. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, good. it's good. It's better. Yeah, it's it's better. But GTA Five, yeah, but yeah, GTA Six. And GTA Six. I'll yeah. I'll finish this and look at the You know, so if you're watching this, please give, please give me discounts. I mean, I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> please give me discounts. Oh my God, <laughs> sucking dick without sponsorship. Yep, yep, man, it's crazy. But um, so I think it's going to be. My prediction is going to be, it's going to be PS5 exclusive mm. for a while. Yeah. And then for maybe due to popular demand or people, um, economical demands, yeah. and they make it available to PS4. I think PC, we are going to be the last to get GT6. <laughs> because it's such, it's such a big, it's such a big IP. And I'm like, it's such a very big. And the games that come out these days are um, in very, very high, um, very, very Big sizes, yes. You see, yeah. game three sixty four gig pro. Why? <laughs> Why? You see, you, you indie games. You want indie games? You see them with the one fifty six. Why? Quality, you know, engines are engines. I mean, we we on this side of the country, you know, we're like ten years behind the technology. So yeah. it's like there, and even the indie people are getting they are getting Unreal Engine five. They are, mm-hmm. they. Blender, there isn't Blender to perform miracles. It is ridiculous. So, I think I saw um um was it a, a beta version of Unreal of Unreal Engine? Was it Unreal Engine Seven? Unreal Engine? No, this this latest Unreal Engine version are not released yet. Mm-hmm. Bro, come and see the ways, the way the um the way the lights, the shadow, and every everything feels unreal to to the full night. <laughs> it's so unreal. It is, like this amount of computation in seconds. The technology that you know, that like we in this part of the country are using is like like ten years behind. So, I mean, you are probably going to have to use YouTube, you know, to cope. Yep. For G- I've been doing that <laughs> even, before, <laughs> even before my first PS4. I've been thinking very, very, very long time. So, yeah. I mean, I, it's going to be. I'm predicting. PS5 exclusive yeah. before becoming PS4 and then maybe like after like PS5 exclusive yeah it becomes available for PC unless okay. that will boost more Sony Sony sales or exactly so we've never mentioned Xbox wow I don't know that I'm not an Xbox guy. I don't think Xbox is in this conversation I don't think so it, it was when we said console I mean, it was but well, specifically nah. I'm not an, I, I don't think I was ever an Xbox gamer nah. I, I'm. Will you believe me if I said I've never held like an Xbox? I think I've held a couple of times, but never so much as attached to it. Always a PS. It's just easy box. I don't want to insult any Xbox game, so I'm just going to skip. Well, I'm going to insult every Xbox game. Yeah, yeah. So your console looks like trash. <laughs> <laughs> the design is um, well. Now let's jump to it the next. It puts minimalism to shame. Yes. I mean, if you look at my room, it. Uh, I think you. Think, I think mm-hmm. you see the thing about me. I'm not even good to like like I said, yeah. Your your room is gonna be Hoda's paradise. 
It's just my old ass paradise. Thank you very much. So next thing on my on my list of this list of things to discuss here. Almost almost stumbled upon my world. Like I said, I'm not drinking, I'm not getting drunk. We you we you've been stumbling about this place since one. It's crazy, man. Mm, yeah. I think it's because setup takes way too long and you know, trying to recalibrate my, my thoughts to make sure it's it's in line with my thoughts as far as conversation is concerned. I'm difficult. That's a lot of yapping, you know. I do just sound like a skill issue. But yeah, that that's that, that sounds like not only yapping. <laughs> it's a skill issue for real. Get good. Get good. So next on my this of things to discuss here. I play to win games. Yeah. I play a lot of MMORPGs in this. <laughs> and I mean ridiculously. My yeah. my my um my segue into gaming, like mm-hmm. full time yeah. was MMORPGs. I play shit on the MMR. I buy, I bought phones specific to the MMORPG that I had in my mind at that point in time. Yeah. And let me tell you, I've never hated the fact that the exchange rates were so rubbish that when I'm playing an MMORPG, you are here, you know, you, you are here, you are grinding for, mm-hmm. you, know, you are spending the entire night, you are farming, you are grinding for loot. You are going to dodge on so and everywhere. Dodging over and over and you are reloading bosses, also they could drop different like, elite loot here. You just enter like the global stage and there's one dude that, that just bought like the starter pack. And he has almost everything been grinding for, <laughs> for the past one week. You know what game that reminds me of? Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal. Those they are crests. <laughs> if you, if you buy like if you buy three crests, I the loot you get the, the loot are normally ass, but they still like superior to everything you can possibly grind from going through all the levels. I mean, going to and just road dog in all the dungeons without any. I, I like. Bonus. I like when games. I like when games like suggest that like okay, you can grind for this, but you know you could get the upper hand with spending a couple of bucks. That games I was just like, you are not even going to move forward in life. There's no if way you don't buy. It's a paywall. It is. It's a paywall. paywall. Yeah. People say it's not a pay to win game, uh-huh. and must still be right. Until you decide to get competitive, or you decide to, you know, let me get them, put myself on the world stage. You know, I'm better than all these local, yeah. mm-hmm. what's all these, you know, do all these Nigerian servers, all these people that, you know, we're all noobs. No more. Yeah, let me get on the world stage. Let me. You... And it becomes a dick measuring contest with a lot of people that want money. Dick. Who can shine? Who can look at what? spend the most money? Sword skin as much as possible. I think. So I, I believe that there are different stages of pay to win games. You know, some games you just spend to support the developers, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Skins, um, maybe um battle pass that maybe just essence and XP and maybe items that will help you along the yeah. way. Right. But then there are games, especially MMORPG games, where maybe in the game you have a pack, a bag, I can carry some specific amount of loot. And for ten dollars, you can have unlimited loot. And you either have to um, go farm in this area, then um, they'll respond to city, put your loot in a storage at the city center, then go back to other place, and again and again, or you can make your life easy. I just pay us ten fucking dollars for unlimited slots. It's like okay, why? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this this this, this particular progression. Like this game, it went from being consumer friendly to be a fucking paywall. So the game was called it's called Sword of Shadows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's an MMO RPG. It's for mobile and for PC. I played the mobile. Yeah. And when the game first came out for mobile, it had this grinding feature. You could actually grind. Yeah. And the only means to buy when you want when you buy stuff, you buy like a starter pack. You just buy like maybe yeah. a few silvers or a few gold. You like had to you buy like a set, maybe. Yeah, something. you get like some shiny new cosmetic or something, or like a pet mm-hmm. that just looks cute and stuff. That's what the game started as. And it was very, you know, we that we ground, we, we, we don't even sleep. We just keep farming bosses. We could compete yeah. on the world stage. And then two years down the line, another update came. And then it became, okay, you can't even get this currency if you don't buy with real money. But then I, I'm guessing the community actually put in the good work and then um, they gave us we that we free to play players. Yeah. They gave us like a means where 
um, I discovered this, uh, this is the strategy I used. I would go to farm bosses, and then we had like this common marketplace where people that use real money, yeah, they could use that money to buy something to like buy, buy with yeah with from me. So normal currency. Yeah, so it was like it, like it was like we had the working class, the elitists, and yeah, like, yeah. so I was like a working class. I would go to farm bosses. I would get loot. And most of those loot because I don't have the money to buy like those martial arts or those. It reminds me of Albion, Albion online. Similar, Bio. similar, but this this progression goes it's 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 paused at the end of the day. But like I could grind, maybe like get some loot that I don't have the skill for, and then I'll put it on the marketplace, and then they will buy it with that their very rare money, and then I'll get the money, and then I can use that money to kind of get you know some stuff that I can't like, get with normal with normal currency. With normal currency. Yeah. So so there was like this very nice exchange. It was this funnel. Like we would work for we'll do the work for them and then we'll sell it to them. And then I was was working. Everything was good. We had it, we, our our guild was based around all that selling to the rich folk, you know, where it wasn't much, but it was honest work. Honest work. <laughs> Let's, no, no, no. You actually enjoy your experience because it feel like clean. there's like there's there's something you can get at the end of I was grinding. I was I'm not gonna glute, but like for the entire EU server, I was a go to for some particular resources because I, I knew how to you know Bro bro is a professional I was it, yeah. <laughs> bro is a professional <laughs> <laughs> I could farm the Can I swear? You, bro, I'm gonna tell you. What I happened? farm the fuck out of every single boss, yeah. and then I had just good luck, and I could sell that shit, and I, would, no, I, would, I was promoted. I almost became guild leader because of how fucking rich I was. Damn. But then another update came, and it was a massive. People. You know, like the wall of Berlin. You remember the wall of Berlin? Mm-hmm. That, just, that was exactly how it was. Just bam, paywall. We, even if we we worked our ass off. You are not getting this. Nothing. You are not getting this until. Oh my God! You give us your. Phone. You know, I made the mistake of um. I made the mistake of investing financially into. Well, it's not just me. I have a squad, um, from Mobile Legend, but we venture into other games as a team. So you get if it, if a game is out and it's multiplayer, we haven't waiting. We haven't playing one now, but I can't keep up, so I'm not playing with them. Yeah. But yeah, all of us went to. We haven't waiting because I haven't pre-installed it because ah, Diablo Mortal. Because I was at the was it E3 event when they released it that was it see Blizzard yeah Blizzard yeah yeah, yeah Blizzard um, mentioned that they have a new Diablo game coming and they said it's mobile and all the all their PC gamers that were following their entire Where's Diablo the... lineup they were just disappointed but me I was like mm, okay now come to mobile I have a mobile I'm not a PC gamer so then we got on that game we saw the I saw the starter pack I was like you know for zero point nine nine that's one dollar. Let me just copy it. I copied it. Then I logged in the following day. I was at level 20. My guy was at level 61. 60 was the end game. He broke he broke the end game. <laughs> bro, bro paid to win the fuck out of that game. He bought the battle pass. He bought everything. So I feel like when your progression is like I don't know. I don't know. I know someone that that spent over five hundred K on that game. Over 500 yeah, yeah, on that game. And Diablo came out, I think, not two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and what Blizzard did wrong with that game is making sure that there are at least 14 different currencies. You get access from this. You get diamond from this. You get quartz from this. You get gold from this. You get boss access from this. Ah. You can still use normal currency to buy another kind of currency. That's that's a lot of pay that's to win. Pay to win. That's, that's a lot. lot so there's some kind of pay to wins that you just have to, you know, just buy this to support the, um, maybe it's a, maybe it's an it's an idle mobile game or idle PC game that, you know, while you're offline, you can pay this amount of money to, farm faster, yeah, yeah or to farm, but then there are some that if you are if you do not pay, your progression is truncated, ultimately, are you your your gaming experience is ruined. Like there's a cap. It's a cup, yes. It's like it's a cup for the entire game experience. I think it's one of the terrible. games that got this whole pay to win, play uh, free to play stuff was Eve. Oh, oh, I was gonna say um, Clash of Clans. Yeah, I do. I Clash do of Clans was also balanced. I, I do want to use Clash of Clans because I, I don't know who, which, which is bigger. I Clash of Clans, you can pay with your life, basically <laughs> selling your soul, your time, <laughs> you know, or you can pay cash and just run to tier six. The system. Yeah. I think the key the key to balancing a free to play and a pay to win type game is having a very 
hegemonous or, or autonomous market. Basically, where free to play players can compete in like a common marketplace with uh, pay to win players. Yeah. Just like I narrated first in the, uh, about Sword of Shadows, Eve Online or Eve Echoes or Online. Eve the Space Game. Yeah, the Space Game. They do it very well. It's a it's a player driven economy, which means. Bro, their mo- their mobile version is is nonsense. I I I mean I like it. Mobile Eve. I like it. I like it. You like or still like? I still like it. You still play it? I don't play it because I couldn't get my guys to play with it. I wanted like it's a uh, like I said, yeah. it's a player driven economy. So yeah. you're like you want to play with people that you know. That's how I'm moving my squad now in the game. So uh, I couldn't get my guys to to like it. So I just mm. yeah. but once in a while I come back to the game just to like play maybe play for like six months and then drop it again. Yeah. But it's a very very dynamic player driven economy, meaning that if this Desperados is very like it's in demand yeah it's expensive but if it is everybody has it it's cheap cheap as fuck yeah yeah so like the pay to win players and the free to play players have like a market in which they can compete obviously the pay to win people that pay they get like an edge they get more skill uh research slot and stuff like that but like the, we the free to play players we can still grind and then provide services to the free to play in which they can now give us that sweet sweet cheddar now that's a sharp um back slot now another way to balance it would be that you can grind for this in-game currency and unlock it or you can only unlock with a currency that you um you buy using real money mm. yeah that that ruins your gaming experience yeah. because if i know that there's going to be a reward for me and sometimes it's just putting carrots in front of the donkey most games Cause know that you're going to get a reward for this, you're going to get a reward for this, and there's this dopamine knowing that oh you're bigger than this gimme. Um my first mobile game experience as far as Peter Win is concerned is this game. Um, That's a very long silence. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember it. God. You're, you're not even 30 here though. Your memory is already shite. Is this game by LX Wireless? Rise of Rise of, I don't know if it's Rise of Kings. Is this game Ra- Kings? No. Rise of Kings is one kind of game too. Yeah. Rise of Kings and um, I can't remember the game. Oh, I've forgotten. I've played this game it. for over three years, don't, my don't bro. Do drugs. My brain is just. I've been not played the game in forever. But basically, this game is like all these castle building games, right? Okay. Where um, there's a barrack and then there's uh, there's, there's a chariot area and then you know there's a research place. It's all of this. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Clash of Queens or this, a Clash of uh, Kings. Uh, Clash of Kings game. Clash of Kings. I said Clash of Kings, you heard them. Really? Yes. I don't remember. I know the, I know the developer, LX Wireless. They had, they had the Clash of Kings and then they have the Clash of Kings. Clash of Kings was the first of its kind. I played that game when it was in beta. Bro, this game was the was the most fun I've ever had. You see Saudi people. You see Korean people. You see Chinese. You see people from everywhere. I think in my alliance of 70, I was only Nigerian. <laughs> and I was playing with it. I was, I was so happy being there. The next thing, instead of you to... You know, attack the next neighbor. Yeah. Like you can visibly move your look move your castle, your 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 tier yeah. on the map. So I, I feel like a nerd and geek. Like I mean I played Clash of Kings uh, Clash of Kings. Yeah, 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 It was so fun and the last of the really fun. Out of fun. Nowhere, they brought the pay to win. The to win. So instead of from um, grand and farming for these things, you can just buy a pack and go from castle level four castle level one to castle level six, level sixteen. In under no under one week of the server opening, and that means that you can make life <laughs> like literally unlivable for everyone else. You will, you will close your phone, wake up the next day. So you have been ready. Yes, now, <laughs> bro. You be waking up at three a.m. Open open that some some guys not your shit has not gone down for some guy to oh. Yeah. And because it's a Chinese game, um, the Chinese are they have um better packs. Um, yeah, game packs. So games that we will buy normally for for like ten dollars, they will buy for like six. They can even have like a third party and get it for like two. Are you familiar with Black Desert Online? Yeah. Okay. So Black Desert Online is also a. I don't think it's it's an Asian Asian specific. I don't know the countries, but I think it's China. It's an Asian country. So like every update that comes, it basically comes from the east. 
first over to the west. So like if there's like if there's a new character, you get the first before we get before the Americans get it. A new character, they get it before the uh, I say we, we're not Africans are not really we're not really when it comes to the gaming. Apart from C O D, we're not really they don't work. Nigeria has like FPS games. Yes, we we fucking love FPS games. Anything sh- anything first person shooter. Anything Call of Duty, anything um Apex Legends, anything we live out the American dream. We're going to shoot anybody on site. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like when a new like, character comes out, the Asians like they've gotten like they've already gotten like the basics of everything down. And then it goes to the Europe server. And then if it goes to the uh American servers and uh, by the time you get like a new character, you yeah, like, yeah, no, how to mean this character, let this character is speaking to me. And then you get into like uh public events yep. or worldwide events and then you are being whooped by one guy with one with symbol. Oh, there was, there was a time that and if you have China, if you're ally in any game, if such person as Chinese characters are you are you are winning. Automatically. Yeah, yeah. There's no debate in there's it. There's nothing you want to do. No I debate. I was the mid shield. For in Sword of, Sword, of, Sword of Shadows, yeah. I was the mid shield for one of the guilds I was in. I decide I I looked to this guy. I texted him and said, "Bro, I'm going to be your mid shield. Every ultimate, every ult that has an ultimate attack that the enemy does, I will collect it. I just will, just do your just do your thing. Do I collected everything. I was in like crowd control. I'll die like maybe three hits. I'll respawn, come back. I was this guy's mid shield, and we won. Yeah, I think most most esports arena, most professional. Mobile game arena, yeah. um, professional game game arenas, I think still largely controlled, or still largely can be dedicated to Asia. Yes, most most of these games, their beta version are tested first in first, Indonesia, first. China, South Korea, because those with the game, they know how to game. Game, they, I I I think it's one of all those it's one of all those region specific things, yeah, where. When it comes to esports, you just have to give it to the Asians. Yeah, they're yeah. not the, the, the Americans, they try. The Europeans, meh. But you can't just you cannot come up with them. You can't just, you can't just come look at League of Legends for example. I think it was being dominated for a very long time by by Asians. It, Korean guys specifically was. I'm not sure about League of Legends now, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure when I was still there, I would what? see this guy named um this guy named Faker. Um, yeah, it was dominating. No, no, you have to, you have to just give, you have to give the... So I think I left the, the realm of, unless I, I have some cash and I know that this was like game, all I have to do is buy the battle pass and I'm good. I don't know, just go and, just go and deal with these persons, <laughs> this poor bastards. <laughs> now it's, now it's toxic, make no game money. So you get... <laughs> and you see, this is where classism has entered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there are times where I just feel like you want to flex. I just want to flex, man. Let me let me buy this skin and like start flexing on you. <laughs> People like you. Yeah. Or why I'm no longer in the MMO. <laughs> People like you. I've actually sp- spent some money in. Um, I'm not. I'm not very proud of. What was the highest you spent? Okay, I can't remember. Highest. When that was still three twenty, yeah. I think IS was um was it fifteen? No, more than that. I think hundred. Hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. The highest that spent is fifty five. No, that one was still like that was a one time thing. No. Yeah, it was a one time. Like thing. Clash of Kings, for example, I played for three years. So subsequent, then mm-hmm. there's going to be a new character, a new pack. Yeah, under attack, you have to buy this pack that gives you extra healing speed. So you know, over time. Yeah, I think I left um the free um pay to win realm for skill based game. That's why I play with um Mobile Legend Bank Bank. This Mobile Legend that you were losing like seven seven. In <laughs> wait wait, I ah, cast my craft. Oh my god, bro, what the fuck? You, we are we are live here. You don't have to cast me, man. What the fuck? I told you that in good faith. It's not him. <laughs> I, I told you that in good faith. That <laughs> seven lose streak. <laughs> Six of them rank. I hate the, I hate the game, but I love it. I, I... <laughs> oh, his pronouns is a bit. <laughs> okay, the matchmaking is bad. Okay, of course, of course, copium. 
Because the, the matchmaking on that game is bad. Mm-hmm. But then there are, there are times where maybe like the server reset mm-hmm. and all of us are back to yeah. everyone. Yeah, of course. Stop saying, <laughs> <laughs> Oyana, oh, yeah, you know what? No more copying for me. <laughs> Fuck it, Oyana, oh, yeah, six little streaks. How many, how much copy you have to huff? I'm puff with my <laughs> Six little streaks, but the fact remains that Mobile Legends is that one game I'm going to forever play. You know something that just came to my mind now? I pity everybody that's going to listen to this podcast. Thinking that I'm going to come on here and you know speak one existentialist truth, and we're just here talking about games and sucking dick. You're gonna have to say that. I, 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 I look, look. I told you, Gambit. I'm, it, it, Gambit. It, it stuck with me. Gambit. I'm going to be honest with you. It's cost knowledge. I'm going to be done. I didn't need to know that. I'm going to be honest. You overshared. Gambit. I'm going to be honest. Now with I'm stuck. The way you effortly. <laughs> Say suck dick is actually making me question your sexuality. What? I don't think I know anyone that kind of remembers that level of detail. <laughs> but people like me try to forget it. You you can try to remind me that this is what I reminded him about. Yeah, you because it is in that it is stuck in my head in that quality. It's like it's that as even worse. That is even worse. You know what? That's it about that is it for pay to win games. Now, next now to talk about. Game developers. Who would you consider the best gaming studio? And who would you consider the be- the worst gaming studio? Are you really asking me that? Yeah. Okay. The best gaming studio. Bethesda. It's Bethesda. Yeah. 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 The worst gaming studio. You... Starfield sucked ass, by the way. Fuck you. Um, Starfield didn't suck ass. Really? It was basically a situation where... Everybody's expectations were Aww, with song. Imagine gamers having having expectations. Did you expect the studio to render and design and code an entire planet for each planet that you went to? Bro, do you if you are going to give me a game and you tell me that okay, this is the potential. If you watch um uh if this this CEO of this or what or something, Todd or what or something. If you, Howard. Yeah, Todd Howard or something. Yeah, if you watched some of his presentations for that Starfield game, these are the potentials that he laid down, that each world is unique in its own way. And you get to a world, and it's just a carbon copy of the of the next world, but with each different world. Each world is unique in its own way. Oh, my God. Each world is unique in its own way. What do you mean? Bro, these worlds were barren. Humanity had not... I've not colonized every single planet now. What were colonized? I'm not talking yeah, about no. colonized. I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm talking about the world in itself being something in itself for itself, not just a replacement of it by something that you previously been okay. to. I'm going to. I'm going to speak on an example that people usually compare uh, Starfield to No Man's Sky, which redeemed itself. Which re- after how many years? Oh, so you are seeing this? Oh, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to tell you that I support of unfinished games. No, I'm not in support of unfinished games. I'm, I'm in support of. The fact that give you give these games a chance to work, they need time to flesh out. Look, no more sky took time. Okay, okay, okay. Before it became okay, worse. Okay. We are both Nigerians. Yeah. Okay. How many times have you ever updated any game that you downloaded or bought? I updated Skyrim. And what do you mean? And I updated Skyrim. You know, and. I I I do, I don't I can't tell you the amount of data it requires for me to upge- update my FIFA 20 to like the latest patch. That sounds like a skill issue. It's not a skill issue. I expect a finished game. You will get a finished game. Oh no, there's going to be subsequent updates naturally. Yeah, but but how many of us in these regions of Africa are able to afford those, that kind of data to update our game? Even the patience to update the game. Do you know how long it takes? So on 4G, MTN. And then you miss out on, you know, subsequent content. Or you just... So it's my fault for buying a game, hoping that you... The content that you promised me, it just sounds to me like false advertisement. No, 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 no. Starfield, Starfield was way better than No Man's Sky on release. No shit. Exactly. Bethesda is known for giving us features. There are no bugs. There are no for giving us features. Honest, honest unexplainable features that are unique to each of our player experiences. I expected them to... I expected them to... Starfield was an ass game. 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 Planet. Uh, you tell me that, okay, each, each unique, each planet that you visit, even leave the planet, the gameplay, the gameplay was terrible. 
The gameplay was very nice, though. Yeah. The gameplay was very nice. You will not find Bethesda on my top 10 best no, game no, of us. No. But let me, let me, okay, that's your best. Yeah. Now, what's your worst? My worst. My expectation ex- ex- for you is like this. Is Ubisoft. Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft. Okay. Yeah. Not basically, no, it's not It's not the fault of the game developers. It's yeah. just the studio. Yeah. I hate you. You know what? Ubisoft have betrayed me. It used to be you know EA, what? but Ubisoft, they've taken the cake. It, it used to be EA. Everyone used to dunk on EA as well, but listen. But now Ubisoft has taken the cake. If, like, I'm they've just turned it to do the capitalist worth dream. Do better. Now, um, speaking of Ubisoft, uh, I think the best game to have ever come out of Ubisoft still um, is Far Cry 3. I would argue. Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed ba- uh, Black Flag. Okay, then, then, then that's it. I was about to say Black Flag. Black Flag to me was the best game Ubisoft had ever. Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Far Cry 3. Bro, do you know how many hours I have spent on YouTube? Re watching commentaries on um on Far Cry three. Far, about... Far Cry three is such is such a cinematic experience. You're talking about you're talking about re watching. I am re downloading Black Flag. It's like it's like every it's like it's like every three three months. Yeah? I download Black Flag. I play it Street sounds to me like an addiction. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything about this crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> well, like, I download Black Flag yeah. again. I play it till I'm tired. And then I did it again. And then I download it again. Over, I've been playing Black. There has been no, okay, apart from Origins, but there has been no Assassin's Creed that has come close to the level of quality and freedom that I got in Black Flag. Okay, now what do you, what do you think is the worst Assassin's Creed game? Wait, wait. Let's let's say it on one, two, three. Mirage. <laughs> That's the Mirage. It has to be. It has to be Mirage. And Mirage is the latest it has to be Mirage. <laughs> it has to be Mirage, man. <laughs> I, I thought it was, it was going to be your um Odyssey. Odyssey. I thought it was going to be Odyssey. Yeah. But then Mirage came. And then now I know I see I see Odyssey in Mirage it. Mirage like the mastered version of um Unity. <laughs> That's where it's good. It looks like a mastered version of Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. I will take the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the mobile one. The mobile one you play on your phone. Over that Mirage. You you might say that that is doing too much, but I'm I'm absolutely serious. The gameplay was like that. I I, I think even the story was boring. It was dry. I mean, they said, well, let's go back to the old in day. Yeah. That was the escape. The landscape was ugly as seen. The story was... Oh. See, again, uh, I recently got into 3D, doing 3D, um, uh, learning Blender and all that stuff. Um, I'm trying to spe- uh, specialize in, like, environments, making environments and doing procedure, all those shits. Mm-hmm. And doing it, I get that it's not easy. It takes a shit on a walk to even render, like, a can to make it look as realistic as possible. But, you know, I'm going to just blame it. I'm going to blame the company. I'm not going to blame the devs. I'm going to blame the company. Because how how would how would you give us something as good as Origins? Mm-hmm. Something as detailed as Origins. Mm-hmm. And then you come, you you spin the block. Origins was so beautiful. Origin, Origins is very beautiful. It gets out landscape. I'm riding Camel. So it's, or just like was a unique feel of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, unlike this disastrous um, Assassin's Creed Viking Valhalla. Valhalla, that was basically a glorified RPG. Valhalla was was just empty. It was glorified RPG. He, Valhalla is just this vast open world of nothingness, except colorful things that you can go to. Yeah, I don't know. You know, they put little colorful yep. trees, Pink, some orange, yeah, things yeah. Things you can approach. That was it. Shit here and there. Yep. I don't I don't know. I still played it because I was like, okay, this is different from, you know, sneaking up on people that we used to do. <laughs> you know, it'd be like platform gaming and sneaking up on yeah, people. Odin. And just running away. That trailer was very good when they when they released what yeah. And then the game. I think I think uh, Ubisoft has a way of making AC um trailers 
like really pumped up. Really, really good. You you feel like this is, is not nah, this is this is macho masculine this is, this, is this is it. In origins, you could see you could see livestock hunting other livestock while you're hunting the livestock. Like you and an hyena are dragging for that. That's a level of realism you can only get like, from Rockstar. Exactly. Exactly. I mean Rockstar, see like putting putting life in your world is what makes the open world. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that would be what what you're very, very in. see, you know the fact that I'm a, like I'm a business that fanboy, yeah. yeah. Coming close second, it's it's Rockstar. Because of that go red dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey you know okay, you know what? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, allow to yeah, exactly allow allow, it. allow. Yeah, let me yeah. cook. let me cook this is my kitchen allow it yeah. this is your kitchen but I would use the gas cooker hey, allow allow yeah that level um in where where each and every one of the elements in the game actually in, they actually interact with each other yeah. it is it is beautiful yeah. and Ubisoft I think Ubisoft abused their rights to make open world games yes they did yeah because. They did. I told you they make um, open world with Ghost Recon. Yeah. Then the Ghost Recon two came out. Breakpoints, that nonsense game. <laughs> that's too. That stupid game. That game was broken from the release. Oh my god. Also, what do you think is is up with all these triple A games making really horrible, releasing really horrible games, unfinished games? Okay, so I think one, it is obviously going to be corporate greed. Yeah. And two, um, I think it is the engine. The engines that we're using now, the level of realism that we're getting, we need more time. I say we, like I'm already in the gaming space. I'm just learning. But anyways, like they need more time yeah. to render stuff. I've been rendering my donuts tutorial for two weeks now. Two weeks. So like, um, that's not even like, that's not massive. I'm not even you doing 4K or extra. I'm just rendering the donuts. Just a donuts. Just a donut. Just the details on it. So yeah, I think they're not being honest with they're not being honest with uh consumers. And I get it. We are very demanding people. We want that shit now. I we want it perfect. But corporate greed, they like cutting corners. There's no innovation in the game between AAA games. There's no then I saw I saw a tweet where like then uh, single player games inspired the multiplayer games. Like if a game was very good, it got a multiplayer. Yeah, but then wasn't there um this recent rumor going around, especially from AAA studios that single player games are dead. That was before Elden Ring came out. Single player games can never be dead. Not possible. As long as but then again, single players don't make as much money as multiplayer games because in multiplayer games, you can turn it to your fan service and start selling skins. Yeah, I mean, that is, it. again, like I said, corporate greed has become yeah. less about leaving your mark. Clear experience. And more yeah. about getting as much money as possible. Then people didn't... Have you played Ninja Gaiden? Go and play it. It's a very old game, but like, it is a very unique and hard... It is... It is... It was... From software before yeah. from software became the thing. So you mean like the game is Major from Gaiden is what where? from software which it it is. And very similarly they had like they, they they've gotten that dynamic to an extent. No. Like Ninja Gaiden one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Complete. Okay. Very so yeah, I think we can cover one last or two things here. Um let's talk about anime. I know you are very much into the entire Japanese culture. Can you see the way you smile? Yes, come on, my face. Yeah. 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 So, what anime are you currently watching? Okay. So, um, I am... I'm in my vintage anime phase right now. I'm just really getting like into this. Cowboy, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop, yeah. Monster, Perfect Blue. Just, you know, we're talking about vintage, we're talking about early 2000s. We have to talk about Perfect Blue. We have to talk about Perfect Blue. See... I could go on and on about how modern animes have lost their touch. Like now, if you meet the uh, average noob, they will ask them what their favorite anime is. They'll probably mention something generic like JJK. If you ask me, what's your real anime? If you ask me, this might sound. What's your real anime? If it's generic, I'll throw you this gun. Okay, movie. I'll I'll categorize its favorite anime movie. Okay. Is your name? Kimi no Nawa. 
favorite anime series is Parasite. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pass. Parasite. Uh, yes. Yes, Parasite was very. I've seen it. I've seen it three times. Yeah. Lost its effect after, after the third, but like not in. I think I watched it again like second time after like two years. After the first time, and it's like that effect. Yeah. It's, it's a bit story. If okay, so for all my anime heads out there, if you are a person that you know likes, you prefer, you like your anime having depth, yeah, having like stories. I think you should go back to the vintage animes. You should go back to the days of Studio Ghibli, Kyoani, uh, Sunrise Studios. There was a Studio Ghibli anime that came out recently. I think Studio Ghibli anime is the only anime is the only anime studio that has won Oscars twice. Yeah. They won it for Spirited Away uh, and Boy and the Hero. Hmm? Boy and the Hero. The Boy and the Hero. Yeah. I've still not been able to watch that. And the Boy and the Hero. Yes. I still have it. I've not just watched. Yeah, I've been able to watch it. Yeah. I've not been able to watch it. The pirated version. No. <laughs> I've still not been able to watch it. I I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Before we talk about Perfect Perfect Blue here, let me say one thing. I will, you can wake me up. At three twenty four a.m. and ask me what is the worst anime you watched this my and I will tell you it is Tokyo Ghoul. Go read the manga, bro. That's what I can say. Tokyo Ghoul is the worst fucking anime I've ever watched. I mean, they had they had. They should have stopped at season one. Exactly what we were saying. They had it right, and then I guess we tried to chuck in as much, and then they just couldn't. I think for me, I've watched some fucking shit ton of bad animes. But I think, the, yes, I think one of the worst. I was just one of the worst because they, I, I, I don't have, I don't, I don't have a preference when it comes to genres. I watch every genre of anime there is. Mecha, um, Isekai, Size of Life, Isekai. Mm-hmm. But the worst that I've ever watched was Scissor. One of the worst was <laughs> Scissor Seven. Yeah, that anime had no head or tails. <laughs> it went away. It was. I didn't even understand how that got greenlit. So, um, my favorite anime now, it used to be Fairy Tail, but then rewatching, rewatching it again, I started like, eh, I agree. I'm have, you, have you tried Ferren? So, so soon of Ferren. I read that shit before it became popular. You read it? Yeah. Well, I tried to watch it, I fell asleep. You you don't have you don't have an appreciation for the final art. To be honest, I I appreciated the aesthetic of it, but the stories were the story was dragging not too long. It is I like the way they were doing exposition done. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's either you tell me this is that have happened or you show me that they have happened. So I feel like if they had showed me that I would have more appreciation for it. But I, it, it felt just like um um this K, this Korean anime that came out recently about a boy that was I can't remember. I, I see somebody called somebody called um somebody called Susan the Ferran. They called it Side Quest, the anime. I think I called it um A Cure for Insomnia. <laughs> but they actually put it in sleep. It that... is, I mean it just puts you in a an elf's perspective, basically. Yep. It is she every all these things are mundane to her. Just the way you find them boring, the way she finds them, just they just chose. They breeze past. But then to humans, those are Years going past. She wanted. She wanted to spend five years in a town just to chill. You were supposed to go somewhere. They have a destination. Like saying now, okay, I want to go to. Uh, I'm. I'm going from here to Kaduna, and I say, okay, I just want to branch in Abuja and I stay for five years just to chill. To a human being, that's like what the fuck. That's like half a decade. To her, it's just another Tuesday night. Damn. It's just perspective. You make it sound interesting. And to be yeah. honest, I do. I do love the the yeah. color polar landscape. But I feel like if I'm patient enough with it. I can enjoy the um um I, I can enjoy the reward for my patience, right? But it's just me getting to that part. I think I watched all the way to episode four and nothing I, I like the story so far. I feel like it, the story will pay off eventually. Yeah. But I do I just not have that patience to get to that level. And I'm kind of I'm kind of a patience person, I have to think anyway. Thank you. But there are just some things that I feel like, okay, let me just go back to this particular anime that I actually enjoy. I, I feel like I take similar approach to my books. My books my books I said, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> my boobs. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> my boobs. What the fuck, man? What is going on? <laughs> Damn. My boobs. Ah. Oh. My books get interesting. Some of them get interesting after 20 pages, after mm. 100 pages. Mm-hmm. And I can be patient with that because I've read the synopsis and I feel like, okay, it's going to pay off. 
so I'm, I'm kind of selective about my choice of entertainment as far as PHS is concerned. Yeah. I don't have all that long to live. I'm not fretting. I'm not, <laughs> I can't just see, well, let me just waste three hours trying to see what's going on. Okay, so um, to reiterate, I did, my head just, my brain just recalibrated. I can't believe I said boobs three times. You call it three times, what to appear? Yep, yeah. Nothing real. Okay, maybe it's coming in our dreams. But to reiterate, yeah. Yeah, my brain just recalibrated and what's landing me to not see yourself, it is Scarlet Nexus because of SS. So they're like that next to each other in my anime folder. So I really mix Scarlet Nexus was the anime. Yeah. Like they all have heads and tails. And um this season, yeah, not a lot of, there are not a lot of heavy hitters. We have um Windbreaker, which is basically like um what is the anime about this guy that keeps going back in time? Tokyo Revengers, mm-hmm. but, bet- but better. We have... So better. Yeah, we have slow born animes. I actually enjoyed Tokyo Revengers too. I think you did? Treat, so it's a good effect. You deserve a medal. You deserve a medal. Really? Yeah. For enjoying it? Yes. It was slow, but... Master Kiss medal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that reminds me. What anime do you think... We're kind of brushing through the anime discussion here. Yeah. I think it's just because I want to get um the, the major parts, I think, yeah. I want to talk about. What anime do you think fell off? The most, like, and a natural notizer. Okay, so seven deadly. Thank sins. you. Thank you. Thank you. Seven, seven deadly, deadly sins fell off. Oh my god! Oh, it fell off. I met somebody once that said their favorite anime was Ranato no Taizai. If you are listening to this, I am disappointed. I am absolutely disappointed. How do you how do you ruin an IP? That is so beloved by the community. It fell off so bad. So bloody, so it's like it's like you fired all the animators and we are left and we are left with Boruto level animation. <laughs> Even Boruto did better. Boruto did better. See, Nanatsu no, Tazai, it was it was such it was one of those animes that I would read the manga and then I'll go watch. And I'll still maintain that level of excitement. Yeah. But then it's just the story just the story went nose dive, the animation went nose my it fell off. I don't know. I, I really I really liked it and I wanted it to stick. I, I really, really liked it. I like the, the level of perversion. I like the level of seriousness. Of I also like No, uh, to be honest, I, I feel like it, it was not over the top. Although it felt weird why a guy named Sid that has lived this amount of years is with this girl that can turn it to We're not gonna talk about the you know, <laughs> you the, know. the <laughs> Inherent pedophile and uh, other questionable amount questionable of questionable <laughs> that is going on in the yeah, yeah, yeah. anime. It's also a matter of ban and that oh, bloody. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I do even want to. There's there's King who saw he saw what was that Diane? He saw her grow up. I I mm. he does not. Drink, to talk about. He not drink level no. <laughs> 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 Probably my <mine>, oh, no. <laughs> you know. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. But you know, it's I don't know how, how you how you run something that was so beloved. I it, it was good. People were talking about it a lot. See, you will anticipate. You know, the anime community uh, is one that is so like they are experts in dick riding. The anime community will dick ride any anime that they love to the end of the earth. One piece of people I'm looking at you. But Nanato Taza was that anime series that even it, its own fandom couldn't they, they had no bro, I was, bro, I was a fan. They, they had, and and, and I watched Boruto just because it's a brain rot. <laughs> it's like my own personal brain rot. No skibidi toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no level 10 gear. <laughs> Shame get. No, there's no baby gronk. That's my oh brain God. rot. <laughs> Shame <you> get. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh, God. Now that's the time that I fell off. Too. I, I don't know, man. Too bad. Um, one of my favorite old and vintage series, yeah, is um I'm trying to remember, is 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 tied between Princess Mononoke and uh Paprika. Paprika has to be the trippiest anime you've ever watched in your life. Why Princess Mononoke has to be the most? It speaks to me on a cellular level. Princess Mononoke, hear me out. Is what Avatar tried to be? <laughs> no. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Princess Bononoke? No. Bro, bro, what is some alien good thing? <laughs> I think we should just close that. We were talking about um, vintage anime. Yeah. Uh, the, the trippiness of Africa and 
you know, the perfection of perfect blue. Every single anime we have mentioned, you guys should write it down. As long as you've not watched it, write it down. I'm going to give you... Even if you have watched it, back to you. Rewatch it. Do, I mean, do you know this anime? Um, what's anime? This movie. Black Swan. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Black yes. Swan got its inspiration from Perfect Blue. Really? Yeah. I... I the entire, the entire obsession with perfection and the entire obsession with, you know, being elevated to this beauty status. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it did that right. Oh, the screenplay was beautiful. You should watch Black Swan again. I'll watch it again. This time I'll look for the... Yeah, I'll, look for the I'll look for the similarities and the... Yeah. But, I mean, vintage, vintage animes are where it's at. I mean, people mention Grip of the Fireflies, obviously, you got everybody tearing up. When you watch shit like... Five centimeter per second. Watch that stuff. It is watch it. It's probably uh, I think the anime name is Bio Bio Kasai Five Cent. Uh, let me never you you will never just I think watch just watch anything from Studio Ghibli. Watch every Studio Ghibli. Every every anime that I see has Satoshi Kon on it. Watch it. The guy the guy does the music. He does the direction, and it's it's it's, it's magnificent. I'm telling you, vintage anime is. The modern animes they don't they, they don't they sold out. Yeah, um so the reason most people still like vintage anime, especially uh, Ghibli, is that their characters are watercolor and drawn, not CGI shit like um uh, Ifo Table. Berserk twenty twenty six. Twenty sixteen. Berserk twenty sixteen. Yep. Every every everything, every frame is art drawn. Every single thing. There's no CGI with it. And I think um mixes CGI, three D and painting was what um if a table got right slightly with the moss layer. Yes, yes, yes. They they knew how to so, they knew how to so colorful and color. vibrant. They, they knew I think so soon does that too. Yeah. To an extent, not as good as Ufo Table because you know, Ufo uh, the mostly has a bunch of action scenes, sequences, and you know, it's every shonen wanka like yourself. So every shonen wanka is a dream. But um, what sells what sells to Ghibli apart from the watercolor is how his is his series or every movie that he raises have like a natural feel to them. There's no oh, there's no use of like soundtrack that goes over the top you what you hear is when people are talking you hear like the background of the winds rustling mm-hmm, you hear the mm-hmm. crickets you hear birds rather than the one to do it all <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, it feels like it yeah you get you feel um involved in the world yeah exactly there's no there's no bling bang bling bang bling, bling, bling <laughs> this it's just it's just the world well, speaking of bling bang bang what anime do you think has the best opening and uh, we just end the anime discussion there best uh, anime opening it has to be Naruto. Pixel. Naruto. Naruto and Naruto and man, it's just Naruto. Damn, it's just Naruto. Naruto In business. Na- Naruto has a like, range of OSTs. Like I could, I could go. We could have like a karaoke session, and you know, I would. We sing. We we'll, we'll do perform a sing along yeah. of um, Naruto OSTs. Yes, the OS openings and endings, I will sing everything. One, I'm there, I'm conflicted between three choices right now. Attack on Titan, Sasa I will be there, you know. Um, the uh, rumbling, yeah, there. And lastly, you know, Attack on Titan, I think it's because my lineup. And then, uh, I would say Fire Force, but I only like. Fire Force not there. Let me just put Attack on Titan and then um, JJK. You are my special. No, no. I will no. put. I will put. What's that, bro? What's that mid anime? Mashle. That bling bling one born. I'll put that over JJK. JJK is you are my special. Fuck. You don't know shit. <laughs> you don't know shit. The best thing. You don't know shit. Honest, to be honest, the best thing about even this anime, um, uh. Tokyo Ghoul. Uh-huh. The best thing about that is its opening. It's opening. It's opening was fire. It was Bro, it's fire. And it's the color fire. one. Beautiful. It's really was fire. There's also uh-huh. Suzume. The same studio that did Kim yeah, Nawa, yeah, your yeah, name. Yeah. Uh, did Suzume. Mm, very, they have very good soundtrack. Very good. I, I play that shit on repeat. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so that's that about anime. So one last thing we are going to well, brush off uh, briefly is um, mythology. So I've noticed one thing. As far as exploring Asian, Chinese mostly, mm. and Western mythology. Mm -hmm. So there are dragons. Yeah. Right. One dragon is chaotic and evil and shit. The other one is more of fluffy and beautiful and killing. Mm. And... Another difference I noticed is that Chinese dragons don't have wings. Yeah. But Western dragons, they have wings. Okay, so are we going to bring back the fun fact counter? Mm, yep. Sorry. So, fun facts. Mm. Yeah. Um, in Yoruba mythology, mm. our dragons also do not have wings. Really? Yeah. Our dragon, well, the embodiment of our dragon, just think Yomungand. Mm hmm but it's the rainbow. Yomunga, the Norwegian... The, yeah, the Norwegian, North. yeah, North. serpent that, yeah. So that is, that is, you mix take that and the Chinese dragon and you bring it together. So, I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the person's pronunciation, I was raised in Lagos. Oshumawi, or Oshumawi, okay. is, the rainbow is basically like the Yoruba version of the world serpent and it's also a dragon. Okay. Uh, it's also an Orisha. So, it also encompasses the entire earth, just the way Jomogan does. Mm -hmm. And once the world comes to an end, yeah. the same way Jomogan would come out to destroy... That's like Ragnarok. Yeah, that's the same way Ushmawi as well would come. Yeah. Now, the because of how skewed Nigerian history is, I cannot attest to the 100% of the necessity of this. It's just me. This is me making research and reading various people's excerpts and then put, bringing them together and come and then we realizing yeah, that like, this is actually the relationship yeah. with the, the different mythologies. Where do you think this, um, cause it's not just Nigerian or Chinese or Western mythology that has dragons. Because my first encounter with Western dragons was with, uh, Beowulf. Beowulf, yeah. I love, I love Beowulf. Yeah, Beowulf killed, um, this girl's, um, child. Yeah. And yeah. And you know there was a dragon, and the dragon was stealing the gold, and you know he had to kill the dragon. I think he died. With, he died with the dragon at the end. Now, why why do you think so many stories revolve around the idea of dragon? Because here's my idea of it: it is a compilation of humans' worst fears. It's a snake that can spit fire, mm -hmm. that has claws, that can fly, mm -hmm. that can walk. It can even swim. Yeah. So, do you agree with me there? Because here's another thing that I've learned. Snakes, also, snakes evolve side by side with our our species. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're also the reasons we, we were biped. Because snakes lived in the tree. They still live to live. I mean, you can, look at, you can look at this from both a literal and a symbolic, symbol. Symbolical. Symbolical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Symbolical. Symbolical. Ah, yeah, yeah. A symbolical um, perspective. Perspective, yeah. yeah. Kao Young would say that the dragon represents an adversary that your man is supposed to overcome. Man, meaning like man, the male, can not, the woman, mm -hmm. the woman. Like it is an adversary. That's why in most mythology, it is always a man that has to slay the dragon and rescue the princess and, rescue and, and get dragon. gold or something. So it's like it is the man. Um, the dragon is a symbol of man's adversary. The the great being, the great allegory that man must slay mm -hmm. for him to rescue his female counterpart or his female psyche or the animals, or in this case, yeah. Yeah. within him. So um, that also that can also be attributed because you know even in even in Christianity they have a dragon, which is the serpent. Which is gonna come out of the well, and then just gonna lock him again in the bottomless. And even even for the Genesis, it's, the serpent was present, the and the serpent was a great fear. Yeah, and you know, that, that, um, that well. fourth fact number three, <laughs> there are yeah. specific scholars that would say that the devil, that is Lucifer, mm -hmm. and the serpent might be different beings, separating the. Okay, well, we are distinct entities then, because one is supposed to be the great evil, and one is supposed to be, one is supposed to be an embodiment of evil. Yeah. 
you it's know, like like a latrine for evil. There are many there are many variations of in, in Christianity that is there are many variations of a dragon or a serpentine, you know, creature. Yeah. There is the one that the prostitute is gonna ride on, the one with uh seven horns and ten crowns or something. Ten crowns and ten horns and seven crowns. Yeah. I don't know the yeah. but it's that one. There's the one that Jesus is gonna cast down back into the bottomless pit. So again, we can look at if what if so the idea of serpentine um yeah it's familiar like, has, has been reoccurring in different like, religious yeah, traditions and both so times like, most times as an adversary and few times like in the yoruba uh, mythology and the chinese as uh, uh as god as god something you should look up get along you, get along you, you, you have to um coexist with yeah the chinese did something interesting with their own ground form of dragons they, they did um they just Existing colors. Yes. So if you have a blue Just dragon, the rainbow does. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact number. I don't know what fun fact. So there, there are dragons mostly exist in um in. I'm not sure the Indian Indian mythology. Indian mythology, I think, is the oldest form. The um, epics of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Gilgamesh. I never knew that was. I think it's the oldest form of written mythology. It's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite written books. Uh, second but, to Job, the Book of Job. I do. I love you. I love There was a time I went to this bookshop, <laughs> and um, they had they had a section of of different books. So they asked me what I wanted. I said they have um a fantasy, um, then she just pointed me to this vague direction, and I went straight to the Bible. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, you're going to trigger a lot of people with this." So, <laughs> no, 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 I went. I went straight to the Bible. I said, "Is, is this what I'm, what I'm talking about?" <laughs> yeah. So um. Unfortunately, I have to um, end this episode early because there's lights out now and I don't want to continue this episode with just any more lights around. But anyway, let's let's try and conclude here on what what part of anything that um, we have said do you agree or disagree with? Do you think it is wrong to align snakes in our, <laughs> you know, in our humanity? Do you think mythologies uh, make up for good stories that humans are about to come up with? I like snakes. Says. No, I like snakes. Of course you do. I'm. You did that one. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I just fired at your ex for your beer after. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> that's my best joke. <laughs> that's, that's legit. I'm so I'm so sad that I don't have enough work right now, because I would have make the fuck out of that clip. <laughs> to be honest. Uh anyways, um, we will talk about mythology some other time, hopefully. Uh, but let's just um round off this episode with one question yeah what um, civilization do you think has the best mythology me personally I think I would like the Greeks first things first they have really amazing demons and, and monsters the, the Cerberus um, it's like a wolf with three heads the Hydra the which is a snake with three heads the the griffin which is like a lion with um, mouth of an eagle and, and fly yeah and um, this one, this is this a uh, this snake, goat, and chimera. It's chimera, yeah. I, I love the chimera. So basically, dragon's dogma or monster hunter. No, um, they are more. Um, they are more. I think most of these video games get their ideas from mythologies. Yeah, because they they would describe this monster in a way that you feel like, okay, you have to visualize it. We have to bring it to life. So I think Greek, they they have a lot of monsters and they have really cool gods my, like, my favorite like you lost my favorite is this may sound busy but my favorite Not is Yoruba 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 hey. Yoruba so you said it sounds basic so yeah like I mean to seem like obviously you but like once you get into it once you get into Yoruba mythology it makes so much sense from the creation myth to down to the Yoruba and the Yoruba do you fuck with Egyptian myth that, I was about to say that's my close second. The Egyptian mythology is close. Second. Egyptian is my close second. So I love, I love you know, fun fact. Yeah. Fun fact. Once, if you look at you Christians, you can get you can get like you can get as triggered as much as you want to, but you have to look at what's the fact. Once you look at the characteristics mm-hmm. of Ishu, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's it's doing it's just like Satan for Yoruba. It's not Satan for Yoruba. Really? Get get off it. Damn. Okay. It is that was that was the mistranslation. But anyways, once if you look at the um, 
characteristics of mm-hmm. issue in Yoruba mythology and all that it does, all that it encompasses, it is bears a striking, a very striking similarity to Jesus. Before I ask Alcom, okay, wait, wait. Before I ask Alcom, <laughs> I'm going to say this. There was this, there was this. Um, please remind me of that. Yeah. There's this thing I read from you know Dostoevsky, um, an excerpt from his book Braska Ramasov. Um, the the grand poop or something was the title of the excerpt. Yeah. So in this excerpt, he defends the the argument that the church is actually playing the role of Satan. Not of God. Basically, wow. Basically, That's like the radical take. Yes, the guy is very radical. So here's the thing. He had made the argument that the fact that Jesus denied the the things that Satan offered him, in like when he took it to the mountain, yeah. when he said that all this vast land, I can give you everything. So if he had accepted this thing. It would have meant that humans are able to make these choices. Uh, these choices not just left to the whims of the God, of God, mm-hmm. of the universe. Mm-hmm. So the the church, basically in that excerpt, Jesus came down and they locked him up <laughs> because they're like, they are suddenly giving these people things that, you know, if you give them, they can go crazy for, like you know, knowing that you are here, you're going to deny someone. To, 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 it was. I think you should read it. You should read it. See, it's, it's so crazy. The the church itself has been split countless times uh, among history. There's the whole Protestant, Orthodox, and yeah. Catholic debacle. Yeah. But focusing on the Protestants, yeah. which is what, which also, uh, which offshoots Pentecostalism. I don't know if that's how they, but the Pentecost movement, yeah. Um, issue, as far as I know, forgive my ignorance, people that are more versed in the Yoruba mythology. Again, I, I, this, I'm still not researching yet. Yeah. Issue is basically like the person you meet when you're at the crossroads of decisions. Mm-hmm. He, somebody, if you want to make a very big decision in your life, you meet issue. You tell them, okay, issue. I'm at the crossroads of destiny. Yeah. Who should? Where should I go? But the thing with issue is that issue doesn't give you a straight answer. Issue, issue, more or less, puts you in a situation whereby you have to look at life from a different perspective. Issue also has to do with a messenger. It's also like a messenger, yeah. a messenger of the God, similar to Hermes. And when you give, when you give your, when you give your, um, when you give your troubles to Issue, Issue will ferry it to the rest of the ferry to um, yeah. Oh, Sharp, very so the so the similarity is him serving him and just serving as access to like the messenger, yeah, like him coming and acting as like the intermediary between you, you your decisions, you you are you and the rest. Is there the, is there a supreme god in Yoruba mythology? Yes, Lord Mary. Mary, Lord Mary is more. It's not really matter of like a supreme god. Like this is the entity. Lord Mary is the encom- like it encompasses the divine will. Lord Mary is the divine. In English, in as simple as, simple as I can, I can, and he uses the Irumwales. The Irumwales are like the, we'll, I'll call them the creation gods, like they were here before the Orishas. It's yeah. like Olu the Mari, the Irumwales, then the. Orishas. Yeah, I see why your Bible is your go-to it now. Is, it is, it is very interesting. It is, it is, yeah, it is. It's, um, I think it's it's also parallel to the the Greek mythology in a way because. There's a, there, there appears to be in most mythologies there's no uh, identity of any supreme god yeah because almost all the gods are equal or they are always fighting for supremacy yeah yeah so but Greek mythology um in Mount Olympus where the gods reside the supreme god is Zeus and it's because Zeus F the the Titans no the Titans F the gods fight against their father I think their father was Cronus you know in the Titan, Titan Titanomachy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy. Titanomachy. So this this entire parallel that you find in mythology, I, I just find it very fascinating. I think I I love um I think I also dabble in North mythology. I like the entire of um Ragnarok, you know, the world ending. Yeah, they have I, I like they the have, idea of they have very good stories. They have very good They also have like a lot of parallel universes. Yes. They have Jotunheim, Neofheim, Neofheim, Botufheim, Fatu. 
Yeah, it's so it's so your person. Diff- different goals. I know. It's Help. holding and you know, people actually believed in this thing. They they yeah. they embodied it. I think in my in my head canon, yeah, I put this in the the world tree rig, rig, rig. You know what? You know what? You know, yeah, I think we should have end this episode on the cliffhanger. So if anyone wants to um, um engage in this story, do you do you think that we've said anything so radical? Do you think you agree with anything or disagree with anything you've said? If you want me back, if you want him back, to come and clarify. So finish the story and clarify. Just you know, say in the comments, you that are listening on Spotify, you can you know, comment on Spotify now. That you want me back, you want yeah. me to come and give a more in depth view on this. And uh, no, uh, basically, you always come, you want to put me on the hot seat. <laughs> yeah, and I will question him because you know, sometimes I like to my guest. <laughs> so. Yeah, put your questions in the comment section. Put your comments in the comment section. Put whatever your thoughts are um, for this episode in the comment section. I'll be most happy, um, happy to um, engage with you. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think this is, this, this has been a very enjoyable episode. Yeah, for people you know that don't know, I was also I'm the you know the head that designed his new look. So yeah, this is my this is my branding guy. That's a sell. He helped me the with the um before Bish and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um gambit thank you for being on the show I'm yeah. glad to be here. and thank you guys mostly for you know being patient through our yeah <laughs> and geekiness i think this is like a net orgasm because <laughs> we just you, you practically gone through like almost all the phases of geekiness and nerdiness you can actually like attention we need to talk about star wars and star wars fell off and um it fell off now and um, look at Ashoka. Look, okay, Ashoka. you know, yeah. no Ashoka. I was hey, telling you this. this hey, Star Wars fell off. I can debate that. Since this guy and sold Hogwarts. his rights, since this guy sold his right to Disney, he has been falling no. off. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, they're fine. Oh, yes, that we want to hear. Yes, other episode. If you want him back <laughs> for Star Wars for anything, please comment um whenever you can. Um, I'll be more than happy to oblige to your um request. So. How this proves to all of you that like I have a wide range. You know, I'm not just I'm as deep as they come. Okay, go suck your own deep. Also, as wide as <laughs> like, we are done here, and I will see you guys next episode. Bye. Much love. Did we just kiss at the same time? We did not. <laughs> Don't make this weird. I'm trying. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go off here. What the fuck, man? Um. Bye, guys. See you around. Bye.